Hi there, welcome to the course. My name is Pablo Farias Navarro and I'll be your instructor. In this training series, you'll be building this platformer game that you see on the screen. So it is a game that works similar to other platformer games that you might have seen, like Super Mario or Donkey Kong. Um, it incorporates all of those elements and you will be building this from scratch with Phaser. This game runs on the browser as you can see here. All right, so the learning goals of this course is uh, the main one is that we will be building these platformer mechanics using a physics system called Arcade, which comes with the Phaser framework. We'll incorporate things such as collision detection. And also, as you saw, the, the barrels are being generated at a certain interval. So we are going to go over how to do that, along with some techniques that are a bit more advanced, such as object pooling, which is when you recycle objects, basically, instead of creating and destroying, destroying new objects all the time. And also, you're going to learn how to load the level data from an external file. The only requirement for this course is for you to be familiar with the basics of Phaser, basically how to work with sprites, how to set up the development environment, and working with, with scenes. Uh, but on top of that, we're going to cover everything that you, that you saw on that game. Our courses are designed from the ground up to help you upskill and bring your game development and programming abilities to the next level. We want you to publish and create and develop that amazing game idea or that machine learning project or that virtual reality application, websites, um, all of those things. Um, regardless of your learning style, we have something for you. So if you are somebody who learns by watching, you can watch us code all of these applications and you can learn from that, uh, from how we explain and cover all of the concepts. If you are somebody who learns by doing, you can follow along, you can code along, you can also download the source code, the project files and expand them, use them on your own projects. We strongly recommend people work on their own projects as well. And um, some, some quick tips that we've seen working since 2012 with many of our students. Um, one of them is to really make a plan for when you will be watching the lessons. Say, you know, book an afternoon or book sometime in the week, in the weekend, where, whenever it suits you, depending on your own uh, needs and, and obviously circumstances. But if you make learning a priority and make a plan and stick to it, you're going to get the most of our training. Also, if you come back after some time, you can always come back and revisit the content. Um, or sometimes if you watch a lesson and you feel like you're not ready to move on to the next lesson, we recommend that people watch lessons again. And remember that you can watch lessons on a slower on or an, at a faster playback speed. So you can adjust the playback speed in the video player to make it really suitable for what how you want to learn. Well, thanks for watching. I look forward to getting started. I look forward to playing the games you'll be making. So I will see you on the next lesson.